cannabis sales soar higher than ever in Summit, Colorado, and all 16 legalized states. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. First, it's been a winter of extremes in Colorado and nationwide, from the coldest February in two decades to the 45th consecutive year of rising temperatures in March. The National Weather Service shows March 2021 was the eighth warmest on record in the U.S., dating back to 1879. Summit County snowpack never did hit 100 percent, and it peaked late last month, two to four weeks ahead of schedule. Local snowpack today is 70 percent of average, and we've got snow in the forecast, up to eight inches by tomorrow night, with snow showers now through tomorrow. Tomorrow. Local pot shops were going gangbusters this winter. Dispensaries in every local town combined for record-setting tax revenue this January, up 5.5% in Frisco, 12% in Dillon, up almost 17% in Breckenridge. The four pot shops on Airport Road combined for nearly $1.5 million in total sales this January, the most ever for one month. Frisco's two pot shops also had their best month ever. 16 states in Washington, D.C. now have legal recreational pot, and Colorado is third in the nation for tax revenue, collecting three hundred. $87 million last year, behind Washington with $469 million, and California at over $1 billion. Adult cannabis use in Colorado is up 20% in the past five years. Youth use is down 22% from a study by the U.S. Drug Testing Centers. Frisco is spending $3 million on marina renovations this summer. After seeing more than 70,000 visitors there last summer, a new record. Money goes to a sewage pumping station, a new office building with expanded retail, and an upgraded fuel system. Councilman Andrew Aronson from this week's council meeting. These are three contracts we're railing through real quick, um, and I know it didn't get here real quick or real easily, so... Good projects, good job, thank you. The sprawling marina redesign started in 2019 and was put on hold last summer. Frisco Council also heard the latest on concerts in the park. Vanessa Agee with the town. This is meant to be a very nimble plan. Like we want to be able to say, we're having concerts in the park, but we also want to be able to get that as close to normal as we can if the public health orders change. Concerts get started mid-June at the Historic Park on Main with possible stops at the Marina or Adventure Park. If Summit's health order limits capacity, tickets will likely be required for a small fee supporting local nonprofits. Councilman Aronson says concerts should also be for the vaccinated only. If we're going to a ticketed system, within the ticket system can be a check the box. And are you vaccinated? And if you're not, um, I'm sorry, tickets aren't available. We want to encourage our community to be safe and healthy, and the best way to do that is to be vaccinated. And those are the people I want to hang out with on a Thursday night. Council did not act on Aronson's suggestion. In sports, the Rockies play the Dodgers tonight at 8:10. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency. Summit High boys soccer plays the final home game of the season today against Glenwood Springs. Girls volleyball is back on the court for rifle away. And yesterday was the 32nd annual A Basin Enduro on Pally Chair, where Ryan Addis and River Mensch got 67 laps, the most of the day. The all-time record is 74 laps. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.